Uh, yeah, you know yeah. Like, like I, I hear about funnels and all of that. The lady that yeah. talked, took, took us on email market, she talked about funnel, MailChimp. You know, yes, it wasn't MailChimp. quite clear. You know, theoretically, okay. I, you know, hear about you them. But how it works. Theoretically, yeah. it's collect emails from people, um, you know, collect emails from people, load up your emails with your emails you want to, you want to load up, load that stuff with, and then it will automatically send to them on a regular yes. basis because it's an assumption that people don't make a decision, a buying decision the first time. They need to yes. follow up. And yes. so but you don't need to follow them up. Get your email chain to do an autoresponder, respond to them, collect their data, respond. So I'll, I'll, I'll go into that shortly, but I've, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the MailChimp app, right? Yeah, I've seen it. I'll, I'll download it, yes. What the hell? Download it. Um, we prefer that to Aweber, or we also prefer that to get response, even though those ones, they have their strengths. Okay. They have their strengths, but uh, MailChimp is affordable. So even if you don't want to spend money, you can start using MailChimp. You get to 2000 before you now eventually start paying. The truth yeah. is that um, with with those with that software with Mailchimp you can create um, a landing page. You know what a landing page is? No. A landing page is like a sales page. It's like a page on the internet, like a, a website. A sales page is a website, one page, okay. where you put that link on, on Facebook or WhatsApp, wherever you're placing it. People, yes. when people click on the link, they will come to your to, to land on that page. They will yes. see your adverts. Whether it's an e-commerce store that you're trying, or uh, a product you're trying to sell, um, a service you're trying to sell, they will learn from there. Most people don't, most marketers, data marketers don't sell on Facebook. What yeah. they try to get people to do is they convince you to click on the link. Yeah. Because they don't go, why they don't do that? Because they know that you may read the stuff and, and see the products and then change your mind and you're like, I'm not interested in this thing. Mm -hmm. So what they do is that they sell the click. They sell the click. They don't sell the product. They'll send you that, look, I'm going to give you a free gift. Yeah. I'm going to give you free um, reports. I'm going to give you free checklists. I'm going to give you free one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. I'm going to give you free consultancy. Maybe let's say you're selling skincare into skincare now. And your goal is to sell one product of 15,000, the cream that can make them fresh. You're not going to start selling that product online. You tell them that, look, you just position yourself as a consultant and say, look, I want to do a, if, if I want to give you a free checklist to check whether your skin, to determine your body type, your skin type, and what kind of cream you can use. You don't make any cream. Click here to get that free checklist and consultation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who's going to go green now? Everybody does click, click. Mm. Then say, put your best email. Put your name, put your best email. You've gotten it. So the system, the MailChimp platform, do you now automate a process of doing the check, give them the free checklist, all right? After you're done giving the free checklist, the next thing you want to do is you follow up. You know, you have an arranged, I'm sure you stuff now. You have an arranged stuff that enables you to get people to, to join you. So that's how this thing works. I'm going to show you something now. I want to show you some slides. There was a reason why I wanted to show you slides. All right, because uh, you need to understand the philosophy behind what we do. Let me see if I can show you. I've shown that slide before, but let me see that if I can if I can show you again. Uh, yep, 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 yep. So we have it here. Let me just open this now. All right. So I was trying to show you something. There's a there, there, there are, and I don't I don't know if you have a buyer if you, if you have a pen rather. Yeah, I have but a pen. Help me to just um, know understand digital marketing because digital marketing is simple. It takes time to build, understand, and practice. Uh, what you've been what we're trying to get you to do is understand the tools when you when you download um, Mailchimp app. You understand the tool when you use certain facilities on the internet. You're using the tools, but it does not guarantee results. What guarantees results as a digital marketer is if you focus on this area. So we'll look at a few of them. Um, first of all, when it comes to digital marketing, including social, mar social media marketing, 
you have to choose more. You have to choose a preferred platform. You can use Wait, all of sorry, the platforms. Sorry, 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 what you is that Facebook, mean? you sorry, have what is the um, difference Google. Between, um, yes, I was go ahead. asking, I was asking, what is the difference between social media, digital marketing, and social media marketing? Okay, I'll explain that. I'll explain that shortly. Okay. Like, I'm not hearing you clearly. Let me just raise the volume. I need to hear you clearly. Okay. I need to hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you speak up? Let me hear you. I'm hearing you clearly. Okay. So, uh, for, only for me, I'm not hearing you clearly. I'm not, uh, it's my end. Okay, speak up. Can I hear? Let me hear. See if I can hear you again. Can you hear me clearly? Oh, beautiful. I can hear you clearly. You, you, you asked a question. You said what? I was saying, what's the difference between social media, uh, digital marketing, and social media marketing? They are the same thing, but the difference is that social media focuses more on the social media apps like um, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn. Instagram, LinkedIn. That's social media because there's really a community there. Yes. Digital marketing is when you, it's, it's a bigger and a broader form of where you're using your website, when you're yes. using MailChimp, when you're using MailChimp, that's not a community. That's like you building a contact list when yes. you're using a website, when you're doing blogging. Even blogs have their own communities. When you're using yes. YouTube, when you're using um, SEO, there's something called SEO, search yes. engine optimization. Optimization, yes. Uh -huh. So those, that, all that broader aspects yeah. is called um, digital marketing. Digital marketing there's something yes. that's only part of it. Yes. You get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So... Um, there are people that love social media, that love to do social media. And I mean, because this, the way the world has moved, the world has moved to a more, a more um, relationship, relationship kind of business. That's why social media is trending. In fact, a vast majority of the users of the internet are on social media. So yeah. Social media is really, really the thing. So you need to know how to use it. And you can use it to even drive traffic to your website. You can use yeah. to drive traffic to your e-commerce store. You can use to drive traffic to your blog. You can use to drive traffic to your WhatsApp. You can use to drive traffic to your mailing mailing list. You can use to drive traffic. You can use to even sell for So you can stay on the platform or direct people to your own platform. So what data marketers do is that they use, they exploit the, the community. They take advantage of the fact that they have communities on social media, on social media, and then they redirect people to their blog. That's the idea. So you have to choose a platform, um, whether it's on, on social media or whether it's, you have to choose platforms. And for social media, a few you can pick, you can pick Facebook, just master how to use Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. Those are the three I use very well. And I use it very well to generate all kinds of leads. Like for example, now I have, we're in that community of, that coaching community we have close to, maybe close to 60 people in that community. Everybody has yeah. paid me 50K there. So yeah. now what we did is that we didn't um we didn't I put I placed them there on the, I'm using WhatsApp now as a collection point since Zoom does not have a place that they can stay. All right. Yeah. So they are there now on WhatsApp. Whenever I want to have any Zoom meeting with them, I'll just share the link. Or yeah. I want to have a Facebook meeting, I share the link there. Okay, I want to redirect them to a particular place or give them some instruction, I share the link. So so that's me using WhatsApp effectively now. Mm. Okay. Uh, if I have a new, like I don't know if you have noticed that I have there's a there's a there's a business I just joined. Uh, I'm sure you probably have seen me share the link somewhere, one place or the other. ecooperative.africa I just joined the business, yes. so I the idea is to drive traffic. So in um, let me just go ahead. So first of all, you choose a preferred platform. Um, um, how to choose which online marketing platforms are right for you? All right. Yeah. So the first thing you want to ask. As an individual, answering the following questions will help you determine the best digital marketing platform for you. What are your business goals? What do you want to achieve? Is it money you want to achieve? Is it brand enhancement? Is it money? That's the goal. What kind of content do you want to create? Is it pictorial content? Is it video content? Is it text content? You have to tell me what kind of content you want to use. What channels are your target audience using? Now, even though Facebook is very popular, not everybody's on Facebook. People will argue that not everybody reads emails, that people do more WhatsApp. But you see, there are top executives that read their mails and they follow their yeah. mails. 
So yeah. if your if the product is for top executives, you can actually use email marketing and get across to them. Yeah. People still look at me. I still look at my meals once in a while. So WhatsApp conversion is still higher than emails, but people still check their meals. So what, what channels are they using? Uh, what channels are your competitors using? So if you're selling a particular product and you check out your competitor, first of all, if you're selling, let's say you're selling bags and your computer yeah. is selling bags in a brick and mortar business and you are selling your bags on your Facebook, you're using, just using your Facebook account, using your Facebook groups, Facebook pages, you have already have an, an edge over them, a slight edge over them because more people are seeing your business opportunity than they are. Yes. If you take that bag now and you use um, you do use ad, Facebook ad manager, I think you watched the video where we discussed Facebook ad manager. Did you? Yes, yes. I have downloaded I have that already on my phone. I uh -huh. so if you, use, you now put that your, your product on ad manager and enhance it, you have a second edge over your 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 competitor. Without having a brick and mortar business, you're going to sell more. You can more people are going to see more people are going to see opportunity than that guy who is waiting for customers to come to his house. Yeah. Or to his shop. If you if you don't if you can't afford to do Facebook ads, you can go ahead and do what is called um, uh, you can join groups. There are certain big groups on Facebook. See what you are saying, Facebook, because Facebook has the largest community when it yeah. comes to social media, largest active community. So you can put your stuff on, look for groups, markets, and then advertise, pay the admin and advertise there. So what channels are your computers using? What channels can you manage? Now, you, have, you don't want to do too many channels, so you're not having issues, else you need to employ somebody to handle it, like I do. The next thing that is important for you to succeed in digital marketing is you have to identify traffic sources. I already went ahead of myself. That's to say that, where will I get traffic from? So you can get traffic from social media, you can get traffic from email marketing. Um, right now we have a list of people on the email, uh, there's a business I'm doing where once you sign up and you get people into the system, you see their emails. And when they bring people to you, they also see, you see a list of emails. And for those of us who are data marketers, emails are like a golden, email is like money. Mm. Email is like money to us. So, so you can get from email traffic, you can get from organic traffic. That is, I would explain organic traffic to you. Organic traffic means that there are certain keywords you use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certain keywords you use. When you use those keywords, your name will appear, will rank in this Google search. When people search for a certain subject matter or a certain thing, maybe they are, you're living in Lagos and you're selling um, shoes. I'm not using shoes now. But there are other people that, let, and of course, you may be a You have some, the e commerce website that will be your competitor. So you now find a way to. Uh, let's let's look for another another thing you're selling. Maybe some other product. Then you look for that word, and then you write some articles, some content, and put it on your blog, or put it on a blog, put it on your e-commerce site. When people are searching for that thing, because you're putting content mm. about that shoe or giving information, Google the Google algorithm is favorable towards those kind of platforms. That those people that write content because. What the internet is starving of this the internet is starving of content. The internet wants content. Mm. So when you're writing content, you're particular about keywords. So for example, if you search top public speakers in Nigeria, I would appear. I would appear not because I'm the top most public speaker, because I'm the public speaker who provides the most content. Content online, yes. Subject matter, public speaking. And yeah. public speakers. so if you look at the content. I have public speaking as keywords. I have top public speakers. So I have a lot of videos with public speaking, top public speaker in Nigeria. If you add in Nigeria, also in Nigeria, most of my keywords, most of my titles, most of my descriptions, both on YouTube, on my blogs, not on social media, because social media and Google, they don't, Google doesn't search social media as much. They do some search, but they search more of websites and blogs and forums and all of that, they set those ones more than they search social media. So if you put in a lot of content on social media, people are not going to find you on Google. When people mm -hmm. want to have fun, they go to social media, those go have fun, you know, look at laugh, entertainment. When people are doing research, like I've been doing research since morning, what do you, I don't go to social media to do research. What do I go to now? I go to Google, right? Yes. To 
So I stumble, I, 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 and I take with seriousness whatever information I see on Google. I read it, I digest it, and sometimes I look up for the source of it and acknowledge them and may want to follow up on them. So you want to be positioned on, on, on in, those, in that place by providing content. So yeah. every enterprise has an education dimension. Every enterprise has a teaching dimension. Yeah. So if you're selling shoes, you can start, you can start, you can create a blog. Okay. This is the time marketing I'm teaching you now. You can create a blog where you're Please get out of that place. So. On style, you're giving information on style, shoe styles, history of shoes, history of this kind yeah. of style, you know, this kind of things. Don't keep giving information along those lines. And you'll be surprised that people who are um, fashion seekers who seek for fashion, who are interested in those kind of things, who who hook up. I, I like what I like the content you provide along those lines. Yeah. Uh, would you what kind of shoes do you sell? And that's that's a business for you. Yeah. So the next important thing is traffic source. So where do you get source your traffic from? Direct traffic from social media, from paid. Also, there's something called paid traffic. Yeah. When you give Facebook money to advertise your business to people that are outside of your friends and your sphere and your contact list, you are actually doing good traffic. When you give a blogger who has a large following, who has um, who has large traffic money to promote your business, that is paid traffic. Yeah. When you give a social media influencer, maybe he's a big boy on, on Instagram, and you tell him to do something for you so that he can advertise on his program, that's you doing um, paid traffic. You're paying a social media influencer to help you. So there are different ways you can do pay, buy pay traffic. The truth is that if you want to really succeed, you have to pay for your traffic. You have to buy traffic. In fact, the fastest way to succeed in business is to buy traffic. That is like like um, like um, Facebook adverts, right? Yes, Facebook ads. Not just Facebook ads. Giving social media people money. Giving groups. There are some groups, Facebook groups that have huge numbers. Okay. That have huge numbers. So you just go there. See, that you, you judge based on engagement. Activities yeah. going on. So this group, they have 40,000 people. And every day they're posting, somebody's posting admins. So you just reach out to the admin and get them to have a conversation with you about your business. And then you yeah. push you out the there. People are going to reach out to you or at least yeah. comment. So that's, you have to identify traffic. The, the third thing that you want to pay attention to is targeting. Now, because when it comes to, these are key elements in digital marketing that we don't joke with. And we're going to broaden our understanding on targeting shortly. Um, we're going to broaden it. Even this identified traffic sources, we're going to still broaden it and go practical. Even the choice, the choosing of your preferred platform, that's where you need to download certain apps. There are certain apps I have on my phone that I use keenly. Like I'm, I'm a strong digital marketer, so I, I, do, I do my videos. I edit my videos quickly. So I have an um, InShot, InShot app on my phone. No, it's not, I'll teach you. In short, I N S H O T. It helps you I to. I N S H O T. I N. In short, I N S S H O T. I N S I N S H O T. Yes, you okay. you can easily um do that. I also I also this app this um what this um. Um, PowerPoint, I download a PowerPoint to my phone. I do my PowerPoint with my phone. And so I'm using it because I do, I do a lot of Zoom meetings and I have to show slides. So yes. I just go to, uh, I do, I think I'm, I'm telling information and since I'm telling information, I use, so that's another important um, app on my phone. And I also have what's called WPS. Now, WPS enables me not just to create slides, but WPS also enables me to record, to do a, an audio recording and video recording of my slides so that you can hear my voice. Are you listening? Yes. You can hear my voice and see my slides. So I can do short presentations and then upload them on YouTube or I could share them out, like uh, you know, do that stuff. So there are many apps you need to have. And that's what I mean by choosing your preferred platform. Many apps also have, I'm also a quick designer, I, and it's very easy. I'm going to teach you how to use Canva. There is an app called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. -A. Canva is like a, a graphic design um, app, and it's not as difficult as you think. If you just learn it, if you have some artistic touch to you, you can quickly create a flyer, create uh, a Facebook post, a thumbnail for, your, thumbnail for your YouTube, all kinds of things. Just create them and then use them 
to do some adverts quickly. So next thing that you need to pay attention to is targeting. Particularly when you are, um, targeting means that the kind of, like your, the title of your, face, your Facebook page already tells me your target. Mm. When you say personal development, it means that not everybody wants to go, not everybody will want to like that page. So mm. from, from the title of the page you're creating, you, that is part of targeting. That mm. is part of targeting. So that means, and if Facebook allows you to create as many pages as possible. In fact, okay. if, you go to, if you go to your ad manager, which we'll look at later, you will see that this page that you've just created is part of the, is part of your, of, of it's there in your, in your ad manager because you can use any of the pages on your ad manager to run ads. Mm. So you can, so if you want to, if you're interested in maybe selling bags, I'm just using bags as an example. So you have to create another, you cannot run that advert on your personal, because the target- Development, is, yes. Okay, so, like, so, so, so that means the, the, the ad manager um, yes. makes provision for different kind of adverts you want to do. So you need yes, to streamline yes. your adverts. But you can yes. see you can run all of them on the same platform, yes. which yes. yes, the admin that enables you to run. So there's a part in the when we get to that point, we'll discuss it. The admin that enables you to target your, your, you have a different page for whatever ad you want to do. And secondly, it helps you to tag it, it helps you to determine your objective. So on Facebook ads, there are different objectives. The objective may be to just to promote your page because you need to do that at a certain point. Because people that it's like you don't keep spending money on advertisements, you need people to like your page. For example, if you have ten thousand people liking your page, like I have up to ten, almost ten thousand people liking my page, it means that sometimes I don't do ads. I will just post something, and I'm sure that almost at least if a half of that percentage eventually will see the ads, will see that uh, because I've already been buying ads. So yeah. so so sometimes you need to run ads to push your page. If the aim is to push, you can promote your page. You can promote a video on the ads. You know, I'm jumping, but basically the first thing they tell you, I'm jumping ahead of myself, but the first thing they tell you is um, determine your objective, target your objective. Your objective is your target. The next thing is um, who should, there's another part in this thing that who should see, who should see, as in what kind of, what's their interest? Are they male? Are they female? You know, what's their the demographics? Yeah, no, demographics, they'll, they will tell you you target it so that I don't know if the only people in that your demographics will see that art. Then yeah. they won't target the location. So I can be in Abuja and I'm I'm targeting just Lagos. And I'm not just targeting Lagos, I'm targeting Yaba. I'm targeting I'm targeting um Isolo. I'm targeting targeting a papa, I'm targeting Ikorodu, I'm targeting Ikeja, talking K2, and I'm letting and I'm blocking, and I cannot I may prefer not to allow people to order to see that can also prevent people from saying it. And your targeting can be that specific, can be that specific. You choose who you want doctors to see. You can say, okay, beyond those doctors, I want um, pediatricians to see it. I don't want all doctors, I want pediatricians to see it. Yes. So that's how much Facebook goes. That targeting is everything. If you want to get conversion, as you want to big people, you want to target the right people to see your ads, then you need to understand the power of targeting. Okay, so, that's so, 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 so so sorry, like like um this targeting now. If I'm if I'm trying to um um frame up my 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 advert before oh, posting, I I'll I, get, I can I'll get to, I'll okay. get to that point. So what we're looking at, we have looked at three now or four. I don't know how many you're following. We've looked at the number of things that are very important and which we must expound, expand rather. Um identify your identify your traffic source to determine a preferred platform um targeting so we'll get to we'll look at these things again the next thing that that is very important is copywriting now this is the coco the copywriting is the ad sorry sir please can, can you name those um, important things again? identify traffic source okay let me go back identify tra before you talk about identify traffic sources choose a preferred platform choose a yes preferred mm. platform Yes. Number two, um, identify traffic sources. Yeah. Because in when it comes to the internet, traffic is important. Number three, be particular about targeting from the articles you're writing, from you know, Facebook ads will give you that tool. Facebook ads does a lot of that, helps you. Then also YouTube ads also gives you the opportunity to target. And a lot of um a lot of websites now 
well, you know, get you to do a lot of targeting somehow. So we discussed that. And the next thing is copywriting. Copywriting means writing persuasively. But you know, the concept of copywriting has even grown from writing to, to, to images that you use, anything that you put out on the internet that is designed to persuade somebody to take action, either to click a link or to buy a product that is copywriting. Anything that you put on the internet, mostly written or text, but there are times when it could be video, it could be infographics, it could be audio. When you, anything you put out there, you know, targeting your audience, you know, just so that you can get them to make a decision, either to click on a link to join your mailing campaign or your mailing list, or to buy a product, it's called a copy. The art of writing is called copywriting. And so there, there are people, there's a profession called copywriters and they are very big, they are very big. Now that's what the challenge now is, you can have it, you can choose a powerful, powerful platform, platform. you got your downloaded MailChimp, your downloaded um, ad manager, you can have, you may have determined your target. You're so good at your target. You know how you determine your target. You have identified where there's a crowd, traffic source, but you now have a problem here. Okay. Copywriting. Yeah. The copywriting now, the writing in words. So you need to, another thing you need to study in digital marketing is to learn how to master copywriting at, at the basic level or give it to someone who can do it for you and pay the person? Who can do it for you and pay the person? But yeah. it will not be bad, a bad idea to learn it. So after copywriting, that is a key factor in data marketing. Another key thing is the sales funnels. That's where the email marketing comes in. Email marketing comes in. So you see the funnels, you have um, leads. Leads means you get your traffic source, people come into a particular place, and as they come to a spot, it could be mostly, if you're using a mailing, mailing, mailing chain, like using mailing chain software, they gather to your list and then you, you screen them. You do sales calls, you do a follow-up and then you convert them and they make a sale. They could be different ways. You, those, the process you, you put people through, your contact people through, just so that you can make them make a decision is called the sales funnel. The funnel, all the activities that you do, the process that you put them through so that they can, until they make it that decision or you sieve them out. So people may not buy, they may not be interested in that particular product. You sieve them out and then show them another opportunity that you, you want. That process, whether you're using um, a MailChimp or you're using whatever, a MailChimp or Aweber or GetResponse or any other platform is called Sales Funnels and you can create it. It also takes some people, it takes some time um, you need to sit down and study. It's something that will take us time to learn. So those are that's the next most important thing in digital marketing. So if you master these things, ah, and you must not just know it, master it, you're becoming a guru in this business. The next thing that is very vital, sales funnel is the process with which your prospect needs to go through in order to make a buying decision. And even if they make a buying decision, you can upsell. In, in digital marketing, something called upsell. After a person has bought a product from you, you can upsell them because if it, the law in digital market is if a person has bought from you, he'll buy from you again. If a person has bought something from you and he got value from the thing he bought, he will buy from you again. If he bought anything from you and he got value, he will buy from you again. And, he, and even at a higher price. So the people that have attended my courses that paid, um, bought a book, ebook for 5K and then eventually did the program for 50K and then did another program for 150K. I wanted to just keep consuming more of my products. So, so, um, so that's interesting thing. So, so that's sale. So the process is the sales funnel, getting them to make that buying decision is the sales funnel. Then you have the list building. The list building is, you've got to be particular about the list. The wealth is in the lists. You've got to, that's why to have, um, now list building doesn't have to just do with the email marketing thing. List building is when you create um, groups and you have a large number, that's building a list to some extent in a sense. When you have a Facebook page and you get likes, a lot of likes and followership, that's list building to a sense. A lot of YouTubers or who, who do YouTube cast, oh, they, they, one of the things they'll keep saying and shouting on your brain on you is subscribing to my, my YouTube button is free, subscribe, notify, um, uh, click on for notification. 
so they can get updates because they want to have a huge community. It's about having that list. You know, so if you have 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, 200,000 people on your list mm. and you make a sale, you're working in terms of numbers. Even if you have 10% of that number buying a product of 1,000, unless you have 100,000 people, and then you, you sell the product of mm. 10,000, and the 1,000 of them, maybe that's 10 million now. So you're always thinking yeah. in terms of, you're always trying to increase your list, increase your mailing list, increase your subscribers yeah. on YouTube, increase your members on the group, increase your, your, your followers, people that like your page. So that act of doing that is called list building. It's yeah. powerful. And every data marketer is so, once in a while, you just have data marketers that have 11,000 um, subscribers. All of a sudden, you just pick up their, write a copy and then blast it to them. Then out of the 11,000, maybe 500 of them may agree to buy that product. Mm. So list building is another very important thing. Then of then, course, then, another- let, sorry, sorry, let me ask a question. In um, mm. business, um, Facebook advertising, how does, yeah. does, does it in any way help you to build list? Yes, you can, you can, sometimes like I said that, your aim should not always be to, to sell a product. Yes. Because you don't know always be to sell a product because you can be thinking long term. People do a very short term. I, I did Facebook ads. I didn't make a sale. I didn't know. You're not thinking. Even if, if, if for whatever reason I don't make a sale, I must build my list. Uh, if I don't make a sale, let's say I put an advert on Facebook and I didn't make a sale. No mm. problem. Let me build my list. Let me have them come. Let them stay in my email list. Yes. Let them join my WhatsApp group. Let yes. them join my Facebook group. Let yes. them, let, 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 they may not like it today. They may not be interested today. But if I give them tomorrow. more content, um, they might be interested tomorrow. Yes. Uh, so that so I don't keep looking for them or spending another um money, money. to look for them. Let yes. them stay with me. So if yes. if you don't make a sale, build your list. Yes. Uh, very very important. Keep building. That's a customer strategy. Just keep building your list. Keep so there are people that they spend the first their adverts on those build list building. This building. Even in fact, I tell people that if you're into information selling, if you're into information selling, that's what you should do first. You don't spend, you spend thousands of naira, if not millions, just building a list. And giving freebies, because we also discussed that. I'll talk about that shortly. So advertising is also very important. Now, if there's anything you want to write down, I say this consistently that a one-off advert will not make a difference. One-off adverts on the social media, like any other media, will not make a difference. It will start the process of a difference, but it will not make a difference. Yeah. For adverts to be effective, it has to be sufficient and consistent. Yeah. For adverts to be effective, it has to be sufficient and consistent. Yeah. Sufficient, and because on Facebook, if you're doing Facebook ads, for example, or YouTube ads, there's a certain amount of money you put in. The recommended amount is $20, but you can start with $5. You can start with $2. But you see, with $2, there's not much you can achieve. And the reach, of course, they will really tell you the reach that you can, the scope with which you can, the number of persons are gonna reach with your $2 investments. Mm. So but if you're doing $20 and that $20 is what you can do for a daily, daily advert, they'll tell you oh, this is how much you can do with $20, $20. okay? So the, for advert to be effective, it has to first be sufficient and then consistent. So that you're doing $100 advert. And if, if I'm doing that, not to push, in fact, I tell all my students who follow me, don't be too quick to push your, don't be too quick to push your product because people resist, they resist sales people. Don't be too quick to push your product, but they, they don't resist free things. So give people a free stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean free stuff. Before you give, before you advertise your product, there should be another I hear me again. And I can't hear you again. Okay. Are you still with me? Yeah, I lost you a bit. I didn't yes, hear you. I, I don't know. I had, a, I had a little issue. Okay. So there should be a, so there should be a, a free gift that you give to people. There should yeah. be something free that you give first. 
you know, so when you just tell people, oh, like um, even even if you're a pastor and you want to preach in church, and you tell them you didn't even preach also, you don't say, ah, give us offering. You say, die, how far? Is that why you're here? You just put them off. Mm. So if you're a pastor, what do you do? You be a blessing to them. Bless them well. As in, pour your soul, give everything. As in, yeah. what you can consider free gifts. Yes. As you do that, then demand, because when people know that you have given them value, yes, they will say, ah, if this one is free, what of the paid one now? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. What okay. J- j- just along this line, you know, I'm I'm new in this um, area. Uh, okay. Just like I, I, there's a guy I follow on on YouTube. His name is uh, Eric Warry. I think he's one of the biggest um, networkers. Um, yeah. In network marketing guy, but he doesn't do that anymore. He, what he does now is purely training. Yeah. Uh, he, he said uh, some people say that um, in this in the business that that um, the, the 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 key word is um, leverage, but he says it's uh, leverage. That means that um, ability to to pour yourself out to have love for humans not yeah. of course the money the money the money would definitely come but let the money not be the, the number one motivation even though yes yeah. it, it's one of the reasons why you're doing it that mm. when people 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 sense your your genuineness and your sincerity you know towards you know uh, they are loving them you know as opposed to when you just want to make money from them the money from them uh, yeah when they and, and they feel it somehow, you know, even mm. if you 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 know, no matter how the vibe is there, then over mm. time they will begin to whether if you're acting it, they will know if you're genuinely, you know, you know, the kind of person help that shows up, they will know. Uh-huh. Mm. And that's what uh, really keeps people. So now I think now they're talking about I was just thinking about because when I created this group, I was just yesterday when I was just I didn't I didn't have any name, I just wrote that name out. I said, okay, fine. This and mm. how do you correlate it with um with um you know selling a uh, forex um Forex um, um it is, business. It's worked powerfully. It's worked very powerfully. It's very easy. Mm. You just give them free tips on finance. People want to read free tips on finance. You don't do them. There's just free. There's, there's something. There's a sequence called um, high high converting H high value converting offer. High okay high value content offer. That's what they call it. HBCO high value content offer. It could be video, it could be, you just give it, like I was just saying. And let, so, but that is your lead magnet. Yeah. Your lead magnet, basically, a well, lead magnet is something that will be so attractive that will invite somebody to click on the link. You know, I said, as a market, digital marketer, mm-hmm. even as a marketer, offline marketer, because it's almost the same principle. Yeah. You don't try to sell the product. And that's where a lot of network, market, network marketers make as a mistake. Mm. They're trying to, or, or even forex marketers, are trying to tell people to come and invest. When people are afraid of forex, sell education, yes. sell financial intelligence, yes. sell the knowledge. Not, just personal sell. development, yes. Yeah, personal development. Like, why don't you just learn about money? I mean, look, you don't want to come out with free training on finance. Free, yes. not paying any money. Just yeah. let them come. When they come, they learn about, they learn so much about, um, ah, they say, wow, this is good. And, you know, then they not decide, okay, well, this forest thing, I, I'm interested because people will resist, people will resist a sales pitch, but they will not resist the gift of knowledge. They free, exactly. They won't resist the gift of knowledge. Any gift of knowledge, any free gift of knowledge, oh, they will embrace it, but they will resist the sales pitch, but they will not yeah. resist the gift of knowledge. So people, will also resist a salesperson, but they will not resist a teacher. Yes. At yes. the end of the day, a teacher influences buyers by decision than a yes. salesperson does. Yes. So you need to position yourself as a teacher. Yes. Like, for example, now, I was, I, I made, you, you paid me money to be in this training. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. It was through a referral, right? Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. That person in question, I've never seen her in my life. Mm. She has attended a lot of my free, some of my free um, trainings on, on WhatsApp. Okay. She has joined our community. She has paid for our community stuff. She has gotten so much value. And she's very sure. She's bought products. She's very sure this person has so much, so much value to give. Yes. From her now, I've gotten you. Yes. Okay, you see that now. So, mm. 
And I didn't, I didn't sell her. I didn't sell her on the program. I didn't tell her, oh, I only taught. I for every time I do a training online, I always do a free version. I always give my HVCO. Yes. But before I do, if I'm going to do a paid training of 50k, I will first do for that 50k. I have a free part of it. I will put that free part. Like if I want to do, if I want to do forex investment mm. on people. I will have a free teaching, free teaching on just to learn Forex. Then once they come to learn Forex and I open their eyes, they're like, whoa, is that a possibility? I now tell them, okay, come and pay me X, Y, Z amount to join my Forex classes, $100. They now pay $100. I now teach them Forex and I tell them that. They now go to join themselves, sir. Yes, while we're still learning how to trade this for us, can we give you money to trade for us? I said, no problem. My goal, Ejika, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm here. My goal was to get them to give me investment money. Yes. But I did not tell them that. Exactly. I gave them first free training. I even offered to pay them, to, for them to pay me money to learn the training. When they got into the training, I realized that, well, I've learned um fx but i still need to it will take me this thing is not uh, it's not overnight success so i still need to take my time and master this thing over time yeah. okay um, and it took me so while i'm waiting to master it as i'm learning and mastering it and putting my own money why don't i give someone that is already good that taught me money so yes. that it can invest for me best for me yes that is it yeah, yeah, that make, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And uh -huh. then, and then I think again in all of these things, one should have a long term view because what yeah. happens to a lot of us is that um, we come in with so much emotional excitement, excitement, and all yeah. of that. That ah, when I get yeah. in, I'm going to start making sales. And maybe the first three months, even six months, you are you what, what you're happened? seeing is not your is below your expectation. And then you get discouraged and then you leave. Yeah, you know, just like in That's... investing, you know, they always tell mm. you have a long term view, a long term perspective. Mm. Uh, because mm. the first uh, two or three, four, the, this is maybe maybe losses, but mm. over time, over time, over time, when you continue consistently, over time, you see that um, the wins will outmatch the losses, and then before you know it, you break even, and then you start making profit. You know, mm. so that's it. So it's yeah. uh, you see, you see, you already, you already from, from my conversation with you now, you already know net, you know, already know marketing. So just mm. add digital then. Don't don't put digital marketing. You feel that it's like uh, it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. If you know marketing, now put use the tools on the internet to use it. It's the same principle. Because yeah. it's not the internet that is giving you money. It's people yeah. in their phones and laptops that are giving you money. And they, they have the same behavior. They have all of that. So you need to just know how to get across them. Outside advertising, which must be done, the next thing that you must also do, understand how to do to get results in digital marketing is learn how to give offers and offer. And the thing about data marketing, you have to learn how to create, give them irresistible offers. Why is offer offers? Why are offers important in digital marketing? It's important because of competition. You're not the only one selling that product. So you may have a fantastic target, a fantastic copy. You may be very good at the product you may have targeted. You have chosen the right platform. Everything is right. But now somebody else has done equal amount of work yeah. ah, so what will now separate all of you uh, one of the things that will separate both of you and get you to get the, the, the customer to buy are the offers as in what are you what are you offering that the competition is not offering it's not offering yes yeah what is it that you're giving aside the content what else are you giving me okay are you giving me discounts yeah. that leads us to another Part. It's also is thing that like an offer too, but it's also um, similar, and you can combine them together or you can separate them. Bonuses, yeah. are you giving bonuses? What are the guarantees? Like if you're doing selling forex investment, what are the guarantees? The guarantee usually is okay. How is my money protected? What are the guarantees? Yeah. So you have to really think about the guarantees. Yeah. The bonuses usually is, okay. So if you buy my product if you buy my product i'm giving you free stuff buy my product i'm going to add this and this and this maybe i'll give you one free ebook or three free ebooks with audios and i'm going to do that's that's the bonus 
and I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you for free. So those ones, sometimes some digital marketers will make the bonus so thick and so big, bigger than even the, the main product they are trying to sell. So, okay, so if you buy my product, I'm going to give you this, 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 this. And people are like, wow. So if I buy that book now, I will get these other bonuses. People may end up buying the book, not because they really want the book, but because they want the bonuses. The bonuses, Bonus. people like a wolf. Uh, yes. And if the wolf also has value, I mean, I mean, it's in the market. Say so buy one, buy that one free. Uh, that's bonuses you get. It's going to work all the time, even in digital marketing. Yeah. And the, 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 the last two things that we do that, that can help you get results is follow up and conversions. Follow up and conversion. If you don't follow up, people don't make a decision the first time they make they, they hear you or they see up. So you need to learn how to follow up. Have you created a follow-up system, which you're going to learn how to do. And conversions means that you must really do a, a digital marketing audit or a social media audit to find out this thing I'm doing. For some people, some people don't do Facebook ads again. Mm -hmm. Not because Facebook ads don't get results. Maybe for their own industry. Facebook ad is not getting the kind of results they're looking for. Like, but I haven't studied Facebook ads for two years now, and I've done quite a bit of it. And I've spent, the time I was doing 50K, 60K, 100K a week on ads. I realized that for the, for the, for the network marketer, and Facebook is very strong and stern on network marketers. For the network marketers, um, I think the, what you should focus on is getting leads and educating them. Because for me, network marketing is an educational platform. We teach yeah. you leadership, we teach you goals, we teach you all kinds of things. So getting leads, focus on that, then following up on them to make them make a buying decision. So most networkers go there and say, ah, join language, hey, join Norland, hey, join general, straight up. And guys, ah, not them, oh, not them, you know, that kind of thing. So you, you begin to avoid it. Oh, it's not working, I'm running ads, it's not working. So why don't you calm down and go the longer route? Because when it comes to the 21st century, the world has moved to relationship building yeah. than just customers. They want to have, they want to have a relationship with people. And people over time, through interactions with you, will move from prospect to customer, from customers to clients. Yeah. From clients to leaders. They've now become leaders that will bring people. And a client who a client has a relationship with you, and a client will bring you referrals. Bigger referrals will come from clients. So the girl that brought you to this, this, this system, she's not my prospect. Yeah. She's not even my customer. She's my client. Yeah. And that's why you're here. So, so I think thinking long term, it'll pay you than thinking, trying to um, get everybody to just sign up or get everybody to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's why follow up and doing it, an audit of what you do is so we'll continue this some other time. Let me stop there. There's a lot to learn. Thank I'm you. going to thank, copyright thank you so much. Yeah. Give you a seven to do and hope that um, you take this to the next level. Educate, like I said, this thing is not a in a hurry thing. Yeah. Now your go go and put a cover page on your put a cover page on your Facebook, make it neat, make it desirable. Don't just create that page, create other pages because I sense that there are other parts of you that needs to be expressed. And you're a businessman. I want to have that conversation with you, though, personally. Okay? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so there are other parts of you that need to be expressed. I need you to create as many groups as possible and know that as many pages as possible. And then we'll look at how to use your, your ad manager. Next time we have a meeting like this, we'll look at how to use your ad manager, how to run ads. Is that fine? Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Then there was no, one question I went to, when I was creating that Facebook page, eh, there was one place it asked me to, where people can, a link. So I clicked on WhatsApp as one of the options. Then it took me to, it created a, a, a Facebook and WhatsApp yeah. for, for me. I don't know yeah. what that. It's a new development. You know, WhatsApp, Facebook owns WhatsApp. Yes. And so they are trying to integrate um, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook owns Instagram, Facebook owns WhatsApp. They bought Instagram in 2013, bought WhatsApp in 2014. No, bought Instagram in 2012, bought Insta um, uh, WhatsApp in 2014. So they're integrating yeah. everything. So they're trying to get you to do, and others even do WhatsApp, do business WhatsApp. Yeah. Because business WhatsApp has the, can help you automate response. So that without, when money clicks and goes there, he can, on your leads, you know, it's, it's also some kind of funnel they're trying to create. 
Anybody like to pay, click on your WhatsApp, go to WhatsApp. There should be an automated system that responds to them almost immediately. Immediately, okay. Uh, okay so what thing. I think supposed to do is like, like when somebody clicks on the page and likes it, you know, it can, they can get the message on the WhatsApp page. No, 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 not, not that, not that. Now when they click on page and like it, they'll start seeing your post. And if they come yeah. to your, if they come to your front page and they see your WhatsApp, they click on, yeah. they definitely want to see, you know, communicate with you. Yes. So, in fact, what if you do that, it will even try to get you to do an auto responder, yes. like a response, you know, try to get you to register on business WhatsApp. Yes. All that. But, you know, for now, you can do it if you want, but I don't use it. So I, I, don't, know, I, don't, I don't recommend what I don't use. I, I don't know how, I don't feel, I've done my calculations. Okay. And um, I don't like that route. I think I prefer the ones I'm teaching. But it's yeah. a good introduction. It's a very new development, though. Yeah. Very new development, and it's fantastic. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Th th thank you so much. So, so. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. Please, like th th this video now. I am. Uh, it's not yeah, I, I, Yes. Okay. I just I'll, need to have I'll that. I'll, I'll, yeah. Watch it over again. Then. Um, I'll make it another yeah, then this um this um Facebook, this thing you say I should create now. Should I use a picture of my own picture? Yes, you know, there's something about you. I think yeah. that that for that particular page you showed me, I think that you your your face will come out, or you can create a flyer for it, but your face will be nice because it's personal development. You want to connect with that person. Yeah, you want to see the face, yeah. Uh, see not just an organization, that person. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, so I, 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 I will just play around it because there are some other and uh, 